Um, oh, last night I almost forgot. Last night when I was at the uh, at the theater here in Columbus, um, they had all like these Broadway shows, you know, where they 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 would put like the logo Annie or they put like uh, cats or whatever the fuck. I don't know what the fuck they you know Mamma Mia all of that stuff and they uh, then the whole cast would sign. And I always look at all those things and I always think it's fucking cool. Um, looking at all that stuff and all the performers and the bands and all of that shit. And, uh, so I saw the monkeys were up on the wall and I was a big monkeys fan. I loved the TV show when I was a kid. I thought it was funny as hell. And I liked the fucking songs and, uh, I'm looking up there and I see Davy Jones's signature from the 2001 tour. Davy Jones, rest his soul, Peter Tork, Mickey Dolan. So then I'm looking going, did Mike Nesmith ever come back? He never came back. Did he? And then right as I was thinking, like, oh, wait a minute, way back in the day, like I'm going back like 12, 13 years ago, I used to take drum lessons at this place called the uh, Drummer's Collective, the Drummer Collective in uh, New York City, which just has a bunch of monster fucking players down there. These just unbelievable, these gifted kids go there. And then they have these sick ass fucking teachers there. And... um you know, but then like a jerk off like me can just come in and start taking lessons. They don't care like whatever your talent level is, you know, they'll teach you. Right. And I, right as I was looking at the monkeys thing, I was like, wait a minute. I used to take lessons from this guy, Sandy Gennaro, big time Yankee fan, lived in Staten Island. And I was, you know, obviously a Red Sox fan. And that was when the curse was still going on. And I remember I was taking lessons during 2003, and I remember when Pedro fucking threw, grabbed Don Zimmer by his jack-o'-lantern, jack-o'-lantern head and fucking threw him down on the ground. And uh, I used to do a bit about that defending defending uh, uh, Pedro Martinez, going, he had, he, what, what, what were his options? To turn around and run, then he's running around from an old man, you know, to hold his ground and punch him. You can't do that because he's an old man. Or three, grab him by his big Macy Day head and sort of guide him down to the ground. And it actually would get a laugh in New York. But last night, Joe Bartnick finally convinced me it was the wrong thing to do because he looked at me and he just goes, Bill, he goes, it was Don Zimmer. He's an old man. He goes, an old man comes around at you. You just put your arms out and you hug him. You know, and you just go, Donnie, you're baseball. I, I, I can't do this to you. And I just put my head down. And I just went, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and then Verzi told the story that I guess, I don't know, at some point, I think after he retired or whatever, there's a, there's a baseball story out there that Pedro sat down and had lunch with... Uh, um, what's George Steinbrenner, the late great George Steinbrenner, right? And to break the ice, because that was still hanging in the air, he sits down with them and he just sort of looks, Pedro looks down, he just goes, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. And I guess Steinbrenner just started laughing and then it was fucking over. How fucking cool is that? Um, I don't even care if it didn't happen. I just think it's a great fucking story. So uh, anyways, so I used to take drum lessons from... Uh, Sandy Gennaro, and like he was a monster fucking player, and he had an unbelievable bass drum foot. And he was the first guy that showed me that slide step thing because I was going through probably my 50th obsession with John Bonham. And he was the guy who finally showed me how to do that. Um, and he was doing the good times, bad times lick, and all that stuff. He was just a monster player. And, and one of the things he did, um, he used to get uh, Peter Chris from Kiss ready to go out on tour you know we just take him through the paces and all that get him up to speed so we could go out and go kill it with the with that with the band kiss and uh and then another thing he did was he played um he played drums with the monkeys when they would go on the road and and i i hadn't thought about taking lessons with them in such a long fucking time so i'm sitting there in columbus and um I'm looking at the monkeys thing and I see Peter Tork, Davy Jones and Mickey Dolenz. And I was thinking, and it, right as I thought, wait a minute, 
I used to take drum lessons from a guy, Sandy Gennaro, who used to play with these guys. And, he, and I know he was on tour with these guys during the time. And right then I looked and I saw his fucking signature. It was cool as shit. I took a picture of it. And um, he also played with Cindy Lauper. Like he did like, that's the cool thing about Drummer Collective. Like they, they had fucking major, major drummers. There was another guy down there and you could just walk in like a fucking bum like me and you could just take fucking lessons from him. They had another guy down there. Um... The fuck is his name? I'm going blank on it. He used to play with uh, Herbie Hancock. Let me look this up. Herbie Hancock. The guy who played on Loft Funk. Herbie Hancock. Uh, you cunt. There we go. Come on, Bill. Learn how to spell. A funk drummer. Something simple. Mike something or other. Mike Clark. I couldn't believe it when I went down there. I just saw the guy go walking by, and I was like, is that fucking Mike Clark? They go, yeah. I go, what is he doing here? He goes, oh, he's one of the teachers. It's like, you can take a fucking lesson with that guy? Sitting there listening to his shit, trying to figure out how to fucking do it. And you could actually walk down and take a lesson. And I know these, some of you younger guys, this is no big fucking deal because you got YouTube, and you can just watch the guy and break it down and slow it down or have some guy. But back in the day, you couldn't do that. And I was just like, this is why it's great to live in fucking New York City. These fucking guys are actually out here. Um, anyway, so uh, I'll end on this thing here, and I'm going to have to punch in the, uh, the advertising because I haven't gotten it yet. I'll have to put it in later on when I'm on the bus. Uh, but anyways, uh, I, I discovered an, a fucking drummer. I don't know how, where I was. A uh, guy, Chris Coleman. Any drummers out there familiar with this guy? He's one of these gospel drummers. This guy's fucking unbelievable. I just stumbled upon a, uh, yeah, I watch a bunch of drum videos. So on YouTube, they always have them on the fucking sides. And uh, it just popped up. And I was like, who's this guy? I'll check out this guy's playing. Just a fucking unbelievable solo. So uh, I'm going to put the, uh, I'll post a clip of the picture I took uh, at the theater here in Columbus uh, with the monkeys and uh, Sandy Gennaro's signature. He drew a little drum, man. It was fucking cool as shit. And uh, and also uh, the, the video clip of Chris Coleman.